Just a short update to talk about the presidential decree in regards to the gun ownership speech that he gave Saturday night and the law change that he made. Some people have asked me questions about, you know, well, what's next? You know, how are they going to determine who can own guns and what about training and all that kind of stuff? I, the only answer I have for you is what I read in this morning's Coinka High Life online newspaper and I quote under the new requirements for carrying and using firearms the applicant must be over 25 years of age show certificates of psychological and psycholo really in Ecuador psychological and toxicological competence well see the toxicological competence well that'll be That'll really pretty much wipe out about 75% of the candidates that want to have a gun and have completed training in the handling of firearms. The armed forces will be responsible for issuing permits and maintaining a registry of legal gun owners. Yeah, I know that everybody's got a lot of opinions about gun ownership. It's a very touchy subject. It's tough to talk about it. It's tough to find any two people that agree on it. And, you know, it's, it's a very sensitive topic. And it opens up lots and lots of debate. I wish I had the answers. I don't have the answers. People have asked me about importing guns into Ecuador. I don't know that you can import guns in Ecuador. That sounds like a good question for a lawyer. You know, can I bring my guns with me? Well, if you can get them on an airplane in the United States and bring them with you, more power to you. I don't know. Maybe that's another question for a lawyer, you know. And then, of course, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm seeing the debate about how guns kill people and People kill people and, you know, there's the big debate about, you know, what should be allowed, automatic, semi-automatics, you know. Maybe if we just allow everybody to have a pea shooter, that would solve. No, actually, there are people in the United States that would bitch about that too. I wish I had the answers. I don't have the answers. You know, there's a lot of discussion about the crime here in Ecuador. You know, most of the crime that happens here is petty crime. And the major crime is between the cartels, it's in the prisons, between the gangs. You don't see random violence here like you do in the United States at the grocery stores, the churches, in the schools. You know, where little Johnny gets off his PlayStation where he just got through playing two hours of video games, blowing people's heads off, decides that well, I want to try this for real, you know, he goes to school and starts killing innocent children and other adults. I personally, I have my opinion about how to tackle this problem. If I told you how I felt, I'm sure most of you would call me a communist because my way of dealing with this is not really really civilized to tell you the truth but in my point of, from my point of view and from my perspective I think it's the only solution but we won't go into that so anyway thanks for watching uh, this will be the end of this discussion I don't want to scare everybody off I don't want anybody I've, there have been people that have said oh okay well no more Ecuador for me you know because they think that Gun ownership here is going to, you know, it's going to ruin their life. Well, maybe you're better off. Stay where you are. That's it. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like this video, bite me. Okay? And I say that with peace and love. Ciao, ciao.
Are you the manager here? Yeah. May I please have your name? No. Can you spell it for me? N-O. Okay.